Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day with only positive vibes. Guys, it is officially season nine, so let's go ahead and take a look at everything in the game. All right, first of all, you guys can see Gear Up for Nightmare. That means it's the new Battle Pass. We have the brand new Battle Pass, which I think has some of the nicer character skins. So if you have the money to buy it, we can go ahead and take a look at it. You guys can see, look at these beautiful skins. You also have a new artery skin that looks pretty nice, and the gun skin and a new character. Uh, I, I think actually a new gun as well, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, but before we take a look at that, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other stuff that you can actually get. More notably, Spectre Mannequin. Wow, that's a nice skin. I might actually do some pulls on these on stream, maybe one or two. AK-17 Wrap, looking very similar to the other, you know, I forgot the name of it, but there was like a group of AK-117, like the Nightwing one, stuff like that. That looked pretty good. Holger spilled, not crazy. MX-9 spilled, not crazy. Sickle, nothing crazy. But... There is a new event that we definitely want to check out real quick. And the new draws should be coming out tomorrow, which I believe is going to be a Gunza one. New Nightmare Trick or Treat event is coming out tomorrow. So I thought that was going to come out today, but it's not, unfortunately. But you can actually get a... Uh, I thought there would be a rune skin here. Uh, and I think the clan wards may have reset it. Not 100% sure, but we can actually get the new Flash drone. So that is going to be the... Um, a new... I don't know what this is, to be honest. We'll try to unlock it probably later today. Looks like a a hardwire was this a tactical to win the hardwire perk equip. I'ma be real. What is this? Give yourself a hidden drone tactical equipment. There you go. Tactical equipment should be interesting. And you can get a razorback skin. And right now our free skin for the month actually pretty nice. Sarah Fallen Fiend. I'ma be real. Probably the nicest monthly skin we've gone is actually so unique and it's really nice really good red skin and red and orange pretty cool unique style there i like that a lot we also most likely have something in the store for you guys uh my for you page may have changed as well nope not really anything different we actually have the firewall crate which is a return of ethan which i already got other than that we'll take the credit shop we do have uh MX-9, cash flow. I think that's an old one. I think the AK-47 is an old one as well. So it doesn't look like we got anything new in here. Or else they would have shown it. But um, I think that's really it. The Return of Zombies, AKA, uh, I forgot the name of it, to be honest. But zombies are back. So maybe there's more rewards, potentially. I don't know. Doesn't look like there's really anything new. Is there new levels to this? No. Camera rewards, same thing. So it's just a return of all this. I'm already max level. Maybe there's a, a a new a new game mode. Maybe there is. Uh, no, no. So nothing has changed in that situation. Rewards here. We got our new uh, Echo. So that's kind of cool. And the object, the Merc, a Russian Merc Hounded, very similar to one of the other ones we gotten. I don't think I missed any oh clan war stuff did they refresh it yet it doesn't look like it has upgraded maybe tomorrow it's gonna update uh there's a on the 11th so maybe at the end of the month this will end anyway let's go to the battle pass i think the main thing you guys want to see we're probably gonna buy the entire battle pass for once maybe i don't know we're gonna be grinding out the new gun but you get the artery skin nostradamus that skin right here is nice. I can see this being one of the most popular one. Very nice battle pass skin. The gun here, the UL, looking really clean. Does it have custom iron sights? It looks like it does. And this with diamond would look pretty sick. We also got the, oh yes, the HSO. We finally got an HSO skin that we can add diamond onto. That's gonna look fantastic. We also have the Iskra, new character. And that's a nice skin, pretty, pretty sick. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, the new gun. Yes, the swordfish new burst gun is going to be there as well. We got the Peace Caper MK as well. That's going to look pretty sick. Custom iron sights as well. Better than the base one. So everybody who buys the battle pass will have that. Level 35 Scarecrow Nick though. Nice skin as well. And then uh, finally, we have also the Bison. Ooh, the Bison skin is sick. This with Diamond will look absolutely fantastic. And then at level 50, you shall unlock the swordfish and you will unlock the rock tomb bound nothing crazy uh when it comes to the end part also you get a striker let's go ahead and buy it do i need to buy everything i don't know if i need to buy everything I, the, the main thing i really want is the striker and that's already going to be super early and also the uh this i forgot the name of it 
but let's go ahead and buy at least a premium premium will give you a guaranteed sickle as well seems like they love giving us sickles the teeth sink that looks sick but let's go ahead and buy it it's basically on sale for those who don't have the money you can typically wait till the end of next season to get it because it is going to be on sale and uh, we did go up to level 13 i played this game enough to not need to worry about it but artery looking fantastic ul skin looking fantastic this is probably the best battle pass so far when it comes to character skins and gun skins combined both of them are pretty nice in my opinion so there's really no downside to that and we get our hs shotgun which obviously i'm going to be biased thinking this is the best one because we get an hso shotgun which we obviously are going to be using and we got two very good character skins that comes out and the sickle coming out as well so let's go ahead and just uh i wish i could have skipped this it's a lot of stuff to open and unpack and we got our our scythe our, our all the free stuff you get from buying the premium one which is always nice so let's go ahead and buy levels until 21 because i honestly the one thing i would love to maybe get is the peacekeeper and the bison but really yeah i mean how much would it cost for me to buy the entire battle pass it would cost me 44. i'd rather save that point compared to the 900 so 3,000 points to actually buy something and i play this game enough to not need to worry about the entire battle pass oh also the new uh, operator it's actually really good gives 50 armor to everybody that ability is okay kill a boat and we have our swordfish which we will be grinding tonight let's go ahead and be testing out the damage for that but anyway let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the guns that we just unlocked the main thing that we want to take a look at is the hso i lied Obviously, the main thing is the swordfish. Everybody wants to see the swordfish. Take a look at how the perks and the camel will look on that. Upgrade that to the max. Since I have so much gosh dang points. Anyway, I, I play so much, get so much points. All right, so first of all, let's take a look at the camel, see how it looks. Gold, not bad. Platinum is okay. The mask is not bad. And diamond is okay, actually. It's, it's pretty decent, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I think it's well balanced. So if you like that, that's going to be cool. Take a look at the muzzle and stuff like that so when it comes to this it is a modern warfare attachment so we have a lot of modern warfare attachments so that's gonna be kind of nice mip light extended barrel and then you actually have the ranger so mip light versus ranger i think you might run to run the uh, ranger for the four percent you get ten percent more damage it really doesn't really matter to be honest with you guys we have the optic you can actually put a sight it doesn't look like it has any iron sights right oh it actually seems like it has some kind of custom iron sight on it can't really tell but we'll we'll play it by ear increase um AES speed most likely and let's check what else there is laser sight all right just a regular laser any crazy new perks that we need to know about not really and the barrel same thing so modern forever attachment so that's really really nice and we have the oh okay all right so this is what we're looking at no so the five burst gun we can have the the extended mag the fast reload and we have the high halbert mag which gives you no recoil essentially more damage but you lose lose a uh, more damage range but you lose damage and then uh, we have the rear grip which a uh, low key you can actually maybe want to go like the river rise depends on the build man you, you can play it out with different builds just to see how you want to play but we'll do granulate for now and now we actually have the a build with um quick fix here we'll just check out the damage really more than anything Let's just transfer it to nine. And then we have this one without the attachment, maybe just regular. Uh, Extendamac adds eight, so we'll keep that in mind to remember how much it is. And then since we're here, might as well equip the new character skins that we just got. Recently, new is first, we'll put this character skin here. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but this next one here, Artery, that one looks sick. This Artery skin is fantastic fantastic in my opinion obviously and then we have the ul since we're already here we might as well switch up this ul for the other blueprint that we just got which i think it's probably the nicest ul skins out there even the legendary one um this legendary one is kind of trash it has a cool effect but we'll see the iron sights and uh for those who are curious with the diamond camo looking clean especially with the pumpkin being golden you'd love to see that we'll have that equipped i don't have the pumpkin unfortunately and then uh, we'll actually put the hso on this one which i'm excited for because it is my favorite that uh, it's, it's a shotgun it's not my favorite shotgun i'm gonna lie to you guys my favorite shotgun is the by 15 but being able to oh my god that looks so good we're gonna make this an ads build so let's go ahead and put this back here can't wait to use this we're gonna be using this probably later today 
uh, we're gonna be grinding at least the gun we're gonna be uh, trying our best and all that fun stuff but i, I don't even know why i'm equipping this uh, i don't have the other guns but we should be unlocking it as we play so let's go ahead and just go to the testing real quick just to show it to you guys all right take a look at the hso look how beautiful that looks it's actually pretty big though to be honest with you guys it's one of those uh, thicker guns but is it a custom iron sight it is oh my god these iron sights are so nice i like these these are this is probably the, the nicest wow and it's great iron sights you love to see that take a look at the ul as well uh iron sights are, are uh, <laughs> not the best to be honest it's kind of still thick but the reload is gonna look good as you put a pumpkin pretty nice let's go take a look at the swordfish we have the base swordfish here well base ish take a look at the damage 28 looks like a one burst that's pretty nice not much recoil to be honest and the hip fire might be pretty decent to be honest is there like a multiplier to the foot there is foot multiplier as expected it's 21 base damage looks like a 30 percent multiplier to the chest and up base magazine is going to be 35 36 maybe looks like 36 if it does shoot four time pretty looking actually pretty nice it's like no recoil whatsoever and this is the base build how far does this damage you can actually one tap almost guaranteed in that what 30 meters i can't wait to make like a, a, a lowest mobility build with this i think the t trick is to like kind of hold it down but let's see the recoil pattern when you're just holding it it's pretty it's, it's really good it's like the chicken of um ars all right take a look at the other one i think this is the other magazine that shoots five bullets bro that da it says no less damage but it seems to be like it's still one burst it does one less damage so you don't consistently one tap but it does you have you shoot more what's the what's the total bullet that's the important part 40 bullets but it has no recoil that is crazy so you're like someone's like 40 meters away you can definitely probably beam them that's like it's like there's no recoil you can probably make it even even crazier even if you shoot the leg if you hit one full mag on it that's dead that's that's gonna end the iron sight let's talk about the iron sights it's pretty nice oh my goodness i don't know how the rate of fire is i mean the time to kill is maybe not gonna be that crazy but the burst Oh my god. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!